Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here with the uh, next topic of today is the converting uh, decimal numbers into other systems. Okay, we've already seen the binary numbers uh, conversion, and today we see the decimal numbers. All right, so we have a basic rule for each conversion. Uh, in the uh, for, for, for decimal conversion, to convert, I've written it over here just to save a little time, to convert a decimal number to any other base or divide the integer part of the number by r and multiply the fraction part by r all right so what does this mean we explain it through an example all right so let's say we have a number uh, we convert a first converting decimal into binary all right so the first conversion is to binary all right so we know that in the case of binary the base r is equal to 2. r is equal to 2, alright? We have two numbers, zeros and 1. So, in case we have to convert 13, we have a number 13 in decimals and we want its binary equivalent. So, what do we do? This example is taken for simplicity that we don't have any fractional part, okay? In the next example, we deal with the fraction. Now, so you do what? You divide 13. You, uh, or let me write over here, okay? So you divide this 13 by a 2. At this side, we write the remainders. Remainders are important. Remainder, okay? This is the dividend and this is the divider, all right? So 2, 6, this is our 12, and uh, we have one remainder, all right? Then we have two threes are six, and we have a zero remainder. Then we have two ones are two, and we have a one remainder. Then finally we have two zeros are zero, and we have a one remainder. Now if further you go, you again go with two zeros are zero, and we'll, we'll give you zero again. You give with two zeros are zero, and we'll give you zero remainder. So you can continue, but Till the first zero, you stop over there, all right? So now, the uh, binary equivalent is given by what? You go from the top to bottom, all right? You go in this direction, from top to bottom. The, uh, the, the, the bottom most is your most significant bit. Bottom most is your most significant bit, MSB. And the topmost is what? Is your least significant bit. Least significant bit, all right? So the decimal equivalent be what? To the left, the zeros doesn't matter. So we take, we started from the one. So the binary equivalent is one, one, zero, one in this case. For 13, all right? This is the basic method. We have a shortcut to everything. And in this case, we have a shortcut what? You divide uh, the second method, okay? So we have a second method that you divide uh, this number into the powers of twos and then uh, check. Divide into powers of twos, okay? Divide into powers of two. So we know why well, in the binary system, all right? So we have two, zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three, two to the power four, five, and so on. So you need to remember these values, okay? So two to the power zero is one, then we have two, then we have three, then we have, uh, no, sorry, two, and then we have four, then we have eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 and so on that is what you need to remember all right so we divide this 13 into these powers of two's values what do i mean i mean this 13 could be written as 8 plus 5 let's say 8 is the maximum power because 16 is then greater so i can write it as 8 plus 5 uh, but this 5 is not a power of 2 so i can write it as an 8 uh, plus uh, 4 plus 1. Alright, so I can write it as 8 plus 4 plus 1 and then have a look in the powers of 2's. The value that are present over here, these are given a high value, that is 1. And those are not present over here, so we give it a low value, that is a 0. 
What do I mean by this? So this 2 to the power 0 is present. This 1 is present over here. So give it a high value. Give it a 1, all right? Then this 2 to the power 1 is 2. This is not present in this. So give it a 2 is not present. So give it a 0. Then we have 2 to the power 2 is 4 is not present. So we have a... This is present. So we have a 1, all right? And then we have this 8, which is 2 to the power 3 is 8. So this is present again. So we have a 1 over here. So this is the decimal equivalent, one, one binary equivalent, one, one, zero, one. All right, if you have a higher number to the power four, sixteen is present, you give it a one. If not present, give it a zero. Zeros to the left, doesn't matter how many, all right? To the right, they do. But in the fraction, to the right, it doesn't matter. We'll be seeing that in the next example, all right? So we see the next example now. Uh, let's be convert 25.625, all right, 25.625, this is in uh, decimals and I convert it to uh, binary, all right. So we have, we see what, to convert decimal, divide the integer part by R. So we did, as we have done in the previous example, so uh, 25, say, this is divided by 2, so it gives a, to 12 are 24, one remainder. Then we have two sixes are 12, we have a zero remainder. Then we have a two threes are six, and we have a zero remainder. Then we have two ones are two, and we have one remainder. And then we have two zeros are zero, and we have a zero remainder. So we stop over here. So now we go from top to, uh, from the uh, bottom to top. From bottom to top, and, and, and what happens? The... Uh, Let's say we start from the 1, the 25 equivalent, 25 in decimal is equal to 1001 in, uh, in binary, okay? Now, for the fraction part, we do what? We multiply by 2. Because here R is 2, so 0 0.625 is multiplied by 2. To get a what? Uh, 0.625 multiplied by 2 gives a 1.25, all right? Now leave the 1. Now uh, this 0.25 is again multiplied by 2 and it gives a what? Uh, it gives a uh, 1, of course. And then 1.00 and this 0.00 and multiplied by 2. So this gives again a 0.00. .00. So that is it, okay? We stop when it comes to be 0. So we have this 1, we take this 1 and we take this 1, all right? So in the fraction part, in the fraction part, we come from the top to bottom, all right? From top to bottom. In the uh, integer part, we went from the bottom to top, but in this case, we come from top to bottom. And we see that point uh, 625 in decimal equals 110 in binary. This 110, and you can add zeros to the right as much as you want. It doesn't matter. So overall, this 25.625 equals 1001.110 in binary. All right? Now, if we have to convert a uh, decimal number into an octal number, so what do we do? So let us check. Number second is the octal. So in case of octal, the base is 8, all right? So we divide the fraction, the integer part by 8 and multiply the fraction part by 8. So let us have an example. Okay, let's say well, without the fraction part, we have a 112, 112 in uh, base 10 and its equivalent in base 8 is unknown. So 112 is divided by 8 in the similar fashion. 112 is divided by 8. So, 8 fourteens are 1, 1, 2, okay? And we have a 0 remainder. And then we have 8 ones are 8. And we have a 6 remainder. And then we have an 8 zeros are 0. And we have uh, this 1 remainder. All right. So, uh, this is, uh, again, the same thing. We'll move from uh, bottom to top. Uh, this is your MSB and this is your LSB. Uh, move from bottom to top and the decimal and the octal equivalent would be a 160. 
160. All right, let's have a look at another example. The same example we saw previously. Let's have uh, 25.625. Uh, in, uh, in the tens base, and what is its equivalent in eights base? So uh, again, now 25 is divided by uh, 8 in this case. So 8 uh, threes are, we have 24, 1 is remainder, and then we have 8 zeros are uh, 0, and we have a 3 remainder. So 31 is for this case, okay? So we have uh, 25 in uh, decimal equivalent to uh, 31 in base 8, all right? For the friction part, you do what? You multiply by 8. So 0 0.625 is multiplied by 8 to give a, what, 5.00. 5.00, and you multiply the 0, 0.00 again by 8, so it gives a 0, 0.00. You take the, uh, you leave the integer part, you multiply the friction part again by the base, okay? So, so we have the 0.625, in base 10 equal to 5 and zeros doesn't matter to the right. But this is the first, you stop at the first zero, that's, uh, okay? So this is 5 or 5 zero or 5 double zero, or whatever you say, in base 8. So this basically 25.625 in base 10 equals 31.5 and the number of zeros doesn't matter. After the decimal part, the number of zeros to the right doesn't matter. Before the decimal point, the number of zeros to the left doesn't matter, all right? So that's it. Okay, so now we see uh, the converting from decimal number into, an, into a hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal. And we know that in case of hexadecimal, the base is 16, which means that we have to divide by 16, the integer part and the fraction part by, multiply by 16. So let us have an example. The example is, let's say, 254. 254 in base 10 is, uh, what is it equal to in base 16? So you divide this 254 by 16. 254 is divided by 16. So 16 fifteens are 240, okay? 16 fifteens are 240. So we have a remainder of how much? 14. And then we have a 16 zeros are zero, and we have a remainder of 15. So this is 15 and 14, but we know that 15 is represented by F, and 14 is represented by E. So the, again, from bottom to top, the bottom most is the MSB, and the top most is the LSB. So the, de so the base 16 equivalent of this number is FE. All right, another example, let's say we included the decimal point, the same example, let's say we have 25.625, and what does it equal in base 16 now? So, uh, divide this 25 by, uh, by what? By 16. So, 16 ones are 16, and we have 9 as the remainder, and then we have, uh, what? 16 zeros are 0, and we have uh, this 1 as a remainder, so... So this is 19, all right? Again, from uh, bottom to top, so we have 19. Then 0.65 is multiplied by 16, the decimal part. And this gives what? Uh, let me check. This gives 10.00. This gives 10.00. And then uh, if you want to multiply, so 0, 0.00 multiplied by 0 again gives you a 0, 0.00. So this is the... Now, in the, in, the, in the fraction part, you move from top to bottom, which means that this is, the first one is the MSB, and 0 is the LSB, so, and 10 is represented by A, so we have 19.A, 0, and the number of zeros doesn't matter. All right, so this was the conversion. Now, let me tell you these uh, binary decimal, hexadecimal that we're studying, octal, these are... Uh, some well-known, well-known, uh, most popularly used. And if you have to convert from decimal to any other base, the same method applies, okay? Let us have an example to convert a number. Let's say, let's say, 
A number 27.4 is given, 27.4 in, in the decimals, and we have to convert it to a system of base 4. So how do we do this? We do this the exactly same way. We, we do it how we, uh, let us show. So 27 is divided by 4, so for uh, 6 is our 24. Uh, sorry, so we have 3 remainder. Then we have four ones are four, we have a two remainder, then we have a four zeros are zero, and we have one remainder. So one, two, three. One, two, three is its integer part, okay? One, two, three. And for the fraction part, you do what? Uh, point four is multiplied by four to give you uh, one point six. One point six. Now this point six, is multiplied by 4 again to give 2.4 then this point 4 is multiplied by 4 to give you 1.6 then this point 6 again multiplied by 4 to give a 2. Point. So you see we have a certain we have repetition again and again and again so you stop somewhere let me stop till these four uh, uh, significant digits or four decimal points so we uh, go I've already said that in the fraction part we come from the top to bottom and in the integer part we go from bottom to top so one two three is written now we have this one one two one two point one two and one two one two one two this is repeating uh, but I stop at the four decimal places all right so this is its equivalent in the base four okay so to any other system the same basic method applies and that's all for today. See you in the next lecture. We will be converting uh, octal or maybe hexadecimal. These two remain. So we'll be seeing that in the next lecture, inshallah. Till then, uh, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.